In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple Wix website from Wix.com platform or web builder. So first of all, we'll have to sign in. Now, this is the sign-in page or the login page as we call it. So here you have to enter your email and your password if you already have a Wix account. You can also use your Facebook or your Google to log in. Now if you don't have a Wix account, you have to sign up for a Wix account. So you have to enter your email twice and then your password twice. Then you sign up. Now if you can't do that, you can also use your Facebook or your Google. So I'll use my Facebook tool, just sign in. Now this takes you to the Wix welcome page. Now to create your website, you can either click on this button here or you can click on this button here to create a new website. So I'm just going to create a website by clicking on that button and that takes me to the Wix category page. Now here you are supposed to select which category of website you want to create. Here you have a number of categories spanning through different, different kind of businesses. Like you have a business category, the design category, or blogs, or beauty and awareness, portfolio and CV, accommodation, photography, music, events. So you have to pick on one or you can click on other if you don't see any suitable category here. So I'm, going, I'm just going to start with the business category. I'll click on that. Now you can either decide to design your website using uh, the Wix EDI or you can use the Wix editor. So our scope here is to use the Wix editor to create an awesome website. So I'll have to click on the Wix editor. Now that takes me to the Wix templates page. So I'll either have to start designing with templates. I have a number of templates to choose from. Or I can decide to use blank templates. Now under the blank template category, I also have different template layouts depending on what I want to achieve. So but our aim here is to design a site from the scratch. So we'll have to start. It's this blank template here. Start from scratch. And then we we'll click on edit. And that opens up the Wix editor. Now this is the Wix editor. Now you can see there are a number of tools here that can help you to create a website. We have some tools, boxes around the top navigation. I will have some boxes on the side, on the left hand side, and I will also have this. So we're just going to use uh, go around and see how we can use most of these tools to create um, a website for a business or a client. Now, as you move on, as you, get, uh, as you work on the Wix uh, editor, 
it's important to note that you can also save your work as you're going on as drafts you can also preview your website before you can publish it now if you want to publish you can click on this button that publishes your website now i'll have to start with um, uh, looking at the main page area this is the main page area now the website is um, going to have a header area you can see then you have the page body and then the footer so um, i'm going to start by um, introducing you to these basic tools here now this here helps you to manage your background helps you to add background to the page and helps you to manage backgrounds of the page and then you have the add button the add button helps you to add a lot of things like the galleries images videos strips boxes text and a whole lot of things into the website then we have the app market this takes you to the wix app market in case you want to add a wix app to do some special tasks that's maybe like calculations or uh, e-commerce apps and so on then you also have uh, the week uploads page now everything you upload in weeks is managed by this button here so your uploads like your images your videos are all managed by this then you can start a weeks plugin page if you want to integrate some blogging features into your website this is the button to use now in case you want to handle bookings from your clients and all that this would be your best companion so i'm going to have to start with um, the wix background but before then i have to also mention the wix pages menu this the wix pages menu is where you can add pages into your website currently we have the home page which is Page we are just looking at so and if you want to um, maybe rename the home page or something you can just click here and it opens up to a whole lot of options here you can change the page info or the layout or the permissions the page SEO and settings or you want to remain the page or you want to duplicate or hide the page or even delete so as we go on we are going to still come back to some of these features where we can explain them in much more details so i'm going to start by um, adding a background to our website so i'm going to start from here and i'll click on the background button now this opens up the background menu and here you can see that you can either add the background color if you don't want an image or a video or you can add a background image to your page or you can add a background video to your page now apart from using these buttons you can go straight here and um, choose from all the stock images and videos that you have already pre-selected on Wix now to differentiate between the videos and the background you will see a small icon here the small icon shows that this background is a video background and the ones without the icon shows that they are just ordinary backgrounds or ordinary image backgrounds now you can um, click on either of these to also add images in the same way so let's click on image button here and that um, will open us up to where we can choose an image from for our background this is this is used in case you want to upload images from your computer so if you don't have um, any if you don't like any of the stock images you can or maybe you have an image in your computer that you want to use you can just come here and then you can click on this and then you can take check your computer for some available images and then you can select image you want to use and have them uploaded now and it's pre-selected already so you have to just click on change background to have that background affected now you can also um, 
access the Wix stock images uh, from here. Or you can look for big stock images from here. And then you can also upload images from your social media platforms in case you want to use any of that. So I'm just have to close this and I'll have to choose um, the background. Let me just choose one of these backgrounds. Here. Let me choose uh, this background. Uh, let's assume I maybe want to design a website for Let's just um, use this background here. Uh, this could be a website for maybe some mountain climbers or some some other services. Can't really think of any now. But now, once you choose your background, we the background is already placed. Now, this is the page body. You have to also decide if you want the page body to be uh, transparent or to have a color or have a background of its own so to do that you have to click on the page background that when you click on any of these sections you usually see a tool a set of tools or buttons come out those are just to help you to customize those areas so I'll click here and I have all this uh, the design button and then have the change page background button and I'll have the page change page design button which is also similar to this and you can also access the Wix help file from here so I'm just going to click on the change page design and that opens up the menu for the page design so here I can customize the page design so I have to start with the background so I'll just click on no color to remove the page background color so I want it to be clear and blurry and when I'm done with that just have to close the panel now next I'll need to add some menu that's that will be in the header section so to add menu I have to use my add button Click on add button. Now I'll, I'll go straight down to menu. From the add button menu, I'll get to menu area. Then when I mouse over in the menu area, I have a whole lot of menus to choose from. So I'll just look for a nice menu. So these menus are categorized in different categories we have team menu here we have horizontal menus and then we have vertical menus and then we have the anchored menus so I'm just how I'm just going to choose from um, one of these vertical menus here uh, maybe maybe something like this would be okay so I'll, I'll select uh, this menu so once I've selected my menu I can now drag it into position now you don't have to worry about the size of the menu yet it's uh, it's going to stretch and arrange it's actually pre-selected to stretch to occupy the um, area where it is placed so I'm just going to have to place this menu here then um, to have other menus displayed, I'll have to add more menus by adding more pages. 
So to add more pages, you can either come to the pages area here, or you can still use your add button here. You can use your add button here to add menus. Okay, can you see that? I want to add more menu? Then um, I can I have to use my uh, pages button just to add more menus. So I add a new page. Now that I'll just name it about page okay now I'll have to add a couple of more pages and um, the next should be contact page Then I'll have to add the services page. Um, I'll have to drag this pages to position. Take the about page here, and that's much like it. Now I have um, my menu ready, and. Um, just it and then I have to uh, I need to work on this I need to get back this to color okay and um, so that's that's um the menu now you can manage your menu, you can customize your menu or manage the menu from this button just by clicking on the menu you have all this coming out. Now this helps you to manage the stretch of your menu and this helps you to animate or to change the design or the layouts or the navigation or you can manage your menu in terms of uh, Editing the content like by clicking on this, editing the page info, the layouts, permissions, and all that. Let's look at other page, uh, the other menu manage tools, other tools for managing your menu. Now let's look at the navigate. The navigate helps you to. Um, Uh, you can go to the settings from there to change things like your layouts, permissions, and um, then when you click on uh, this again, once again you can also rename the menu or duplicate, or you can add a sub page which um, kind of adds a drop down, and um, Now you can uh, also change the design of your menu from here. You can select another menu in case you don't like this one. Let's see. Okay, let's assume I want to change this menu to this and um, when I'm done with that I have to close the box here. Now I can also change other things like um, I can click on the customized design and I can change other things like the 
few color and the opacity of the borders I can work on the shadows or work on the text so I would like to look at the text right here and this helps me to change the font size of the text maybe I can make it something like 16 and you can bold in it or you can also change the text text color by clicking on the picker I'm gonna make it some white text here okay so I think we have a nice menu here now each time you work to work on a particular page you have to just simply um, navigate to the particular menu you want now you have to click on the navigate and then you click on the page uh, I want to start with the home page so I have to click on the home page and that means I'm right here on the home page so I'll start designing from the home page now we can also navigate to other pages by clicking on the navigate again if you want to work on the services page you have to just click here and you are on the services page and this is the contact page so now let's go back to the home page and let's go back to the home page and we can start our design from here now I'll have to uh, I'll need to dim up the, the background the background is a little bit um, interfering with the main page so I'll need to Look at the background opacity. Yeah, this is how to customize your background. You can click on the settings, and then from here you can change the opacity of the background. Dragging on this button. Yeah. You can also look at the color behind the background. Maybe I'll have to um, make it a little bit. A little bit bright. Okay, I just chose that color. So that takes care of the color behind your background, and then you also have this section that takes care of your, uh, your of your scroll effects. Right now, we have to select the freeze. The freeze means that the background will not scrolling along with the contents of the page now we can also scroll we can also use the parallax scroll um, effect which helps to scroll both the content and the background and you can also choose to select a non effect which kind of um, which kind of um, creates a non scroll effect that means neither the content nor the background we have to scroll now let's talk about the scaling and positioning of your background now the scaling and positioning of the background has to do with how does your background get positioned and scaled in terms of is it going to fill up the whole screen or is it going to be tired so if you click on this you have some different effects you have a few. The few means that the background will just spread out to um, occupy the size of the screen. And then you have the fit. The fit means that your background will just fit the screen based on a certain aspect ratio. 
I have the original size, original size. I'll press the background at the original size. And that means that if the background is smaller than your screen, you will have to have some space somewhere that's not covered with the background. Then you have the tile, the tile will tile up the background across the page. If the background is smaller than the page, once more, it's going to be tiled to cover up everywhere. Then you can also tile horizontally or you can tile vertically. Okay, but I'll have to choose the fill so that the background will be sized up according to the screen. So no matter what screen the page is created, it will just have to arrange up and fill up the screen. So now we have the um, background position. You can, right now you can see it's positioned at the center. You can also decide to position it either at the top left or the top middle or the top right. Or you can have the middle left, center, or the middle right. Or you can have the bottom left, the bottom center, and the bottom left. So I prefer to place it right at the middle. So having done that, we can now go back to a page. And then we can uh, try to add some text to the body of the page. Now to do this, we have to just go to the Add button here and we'll click on the Add button and then we have uh, have to add some text. That's it here. Now clicking on the text menu you will see a whole lot of pre-formatted text right here so you have to choose from any of them based on what you want to achieve so um, I assume I uh, okay could choose from here then we'll have the text ready you can um, you can edit the text whenever you want to anything by clicking on the edit button here so you can edit by changing the page title type maybe you want a huge heading or a large heading or basic heading and so on or paragraph text you can also change the font from there to what you want and this displays a whole lot of font according to the fonts installed in your computer so um, you can also change the font size you can see the effects and can drag here to stretch up the text a little bit. I can also bold in or italicize or you can underline your text. Or you can change the text color. I'll have to change the text color to white text and uh, that's not taking any effect so let me just highlight and then I'll change the text color to white now oh I, I'm actually making a mistake I'm I beg your pardon for that this this here controls the text color while this here controls the text um, highlight so I'm going to remove the highlight and then I'm going to add a text color so I don't think that took any effect so I'm going to
think I think I have to highlight it first of all. I'm gonna have to remove that highlight, and then I'll change the text color by clicking on that, and then here you are. Now I have a white text beautifully placed on the home page. Now you can also change your alignment. So I'll put it to the center. So here we have left alignment, center, right, and then justify. Then you can add some bullets and numbering to your side too. Or you can add some indents. Either you decrease the indents or you can increase it. Then this helps you to change the uh, text direction. Maybe from left to right or from right to left. Then here you can add some text effects. Maybe things like shadows to your text. Or you can add, um, or you can just choose no effects. Now to, to do any of these uh, text formatting, you have to first select the text if you have already typed. So like if I want to add shadows, I have to select my text here and then I will click on the shadow and that takes effect really. You can see that. Um, but if you have not typed any text, you can just select all the settings and then when you type your text, it will surely take effect. Now uh, this helps you to do some character spacing. Right now it's set as zero. Now you can also uh, do some line spacing. They you um, leave it to be automatic, or you can add some custom line spacing if you have any. And there, here you can add some head tags. Here, right here we have. Um, heading 2 already pre-selected so you can change that if you don't want a heading 2 tag okay uh, now that's all about the text the edit text menu so I have to close that then I have to change this text uh, by just uh, clicking inside the text box here and change the write up. So I can move my text a little bit up here. Okay. Now um, you can also add some animation to your text by going to the animate tool. So you have to choose from any of these. When you mouse over, you will see a preview of the uh, animation that you want to achieve so I will have to just select any of the animation A simple one would do now I will need to add some little more text to this so I'll go back to add text once more. Then I'll I'll select a paragraph text this time. The texts, as you can see, are also categorized. You have titles, you have themed texts, and then you have uh, paragraph text at the bottom. You can see. So um, I would like to add some sort of subtitle, so I'm going to use this text here. And uh, I'm going to stretch it up. Let 
sharp. So I, once again, I'm going to go to the text editor, uh, how to change the text color. And um, I come down with that, change the text color to white. Uh, I need to have to select this text before the change in the color because I've already typed so I have to change the color bar after I've highlighted the text. Now, I'll have to also centralize the alignment. Then I'll have to add, drag it up to the position I want it. Um, I think, I guess I have to change the, I have to change the, um, the font size to be a little bit bigger. And also add some animation to that. So, um, so far we have been able to add menu and then we have been able to add um, some text to the body of our page. Then I have to do some saving, but I must also tell you that Wix has um, auto save, so you must have noticed at some point in this design it was saving the work. So I'm going to preview. So this is what the website is going to look like. Okay, so. We can go back to the editor. Now we can uh, try to add some. Uh, something to our footer footer area so i click on the footer so i can once i'm in the footer i can click on the change footer design uh, that enables me to add some footer background i would prefer to add um, Okay, let me add some background like this one. Okay. Now you can customize any of this background that you pick up. You can customize the, the background opacity. Or you can leave it the way just it is, or you can now there are two sections of this background. You have the center section, that's, the, that's controlled by this button here. And, um, and this one controls the entire background. So maybe we should just place two of them at 66. And when we're done with that, you can also change. Now this shows that we have a central area and then you have the entire background area. Now you can choose this, which is a little, a little bit of a different design, or you can uh, scroll through and choose any other 
uh, around design that you think best suits your work. So I'll just have to stay with this and close the box. Now I need to stretch my background down to this area. I just want it to be as big as possible. Maybe here. Okay. Um, Uh, let me do a little bit of adjustment on the background again. I want the colors to be uniform here. If you notice, this is darker than this side, so I have to go back, click on customize, and then I go to fill and color, and then um, I have to reduce this a bit, maybe to 63. Yeah, increase it a little bit, or perhaps, perhaps decrease this. Okay, I think this is just fine. Now I'll have to save and now how to preview. And back to the editor. Now I'll have to add some text to my background. So I'll first click on the background area, then I go to add. And then I go to add text. Then I have to choose from any of the pre formatted texts. So I think I'll be fine with this. Now I'll have to drag the text down to the background. So get in there, I'll have to click on the move to footer. So this is my footer area. I'll have to now drag the text to position and I'll have to start a whole lot of editing once more. Now I'll have to add some copyright information. But first of all, I think I'll have to adjust the I'll have to adjust the um, the font size and I'll adjust the font size, let me say um, to 18. Then I'll have to change the test color once again. Then I'll, when I'm done with that, I can save and then I can now preview. Now we can also uh, add some other items into the we can add some other items like maybe social media links or we can um, add dots to the menu. So I have to click and add to 
I can add this um, social media link as you can see into the now you have to click on it and then you change you set the social media links to the to link up with your social media links so when you click on the set social media links you can either delete any of them that you don't want by clicking on the pin icon and then you can also change the link from here after selecting any of them and when you're done with that you can click on done and and that's it so save and and then i preview once more so now we have um, at least a home page for the site okay okay so that's it for um, this video um, the next video I'll have to show you how to build up other pages like the about page and the services page